how I trade using a uh, market structure. So I start on the highest time frame. Let's say you start on the monthly. Uh, the first thing that you do, you look for your highest high and your lowest low around here. And then you drop down to uh, a lower time frame. Let's say you started on the monthly, now you go to the a weekly time frame. Uh, all in all, this is called like uh, your top down analysis. And then on the weekly chart, also you look for your highest high and your lowest low, like this. And then on the daily chart, also you look for the same thing your highest high and your lowest low. And then you find that you have this one here, and then you have another one around here. So you're done with your youth marking like your highest highs and your lowest low. And then you can change the color maybe from red. Then you know that this that's the monthly highest high and the uh, monthly lowest low. And then that's your weekly highest high. Maybe change it to blue. And then you have another one around here, weekly lowest low, like this. And then you have your daily highest high and your lowest low. So this is your market structure all in all. You know that the market will just play around those areas so now you draw out like the structures inside so you have like the outer structures in a form of a trend to the upside like this you can draw it like this and cater like for the most touches and if you cater for the most touches you have something of this nature and then as you all know that uh, a trend to the upside has like a higher high and a higher low at the bottom, a higher high and a higher low. So you can just box them up like this. You can use like boxes, use boxes like this, knowing that you are making like your highest, your higher high. And then you're making like your lower low using boxes. And then you have another ones. You expect another higher low at the bottom right here. That's why you're looking for sales up until here. And then knowing that price can just break this area. Let me just change that. Knowing that price can just break this area and then come in back and retest and then create uh, your higher lows and lower lows. And then the reason why the market will come and retest the same area here, it's for it to create like a higher, it's, it's for it to create a lower high, guys. Né? Lower high, and then you have your lower low, and then the, ch the change of character or the change of the trend will start to give you like a trend to the downside. So you move to the lower time frames. Let's move to the lower time frames. Let me just release a few things on the charts okay so you move to your four hour chart and then on the four hour chart you focus like on the trends that are inside the larger trend so you have this ascending channel at the top of the structure like this and then after that you have like a change of character around here change of character meaning that we've broken like the trend to the upside and uptrend we broke the trend and then we came back to retest as yeah as like a lower high here and then change of market direction came up so let's move to the lower time frame let me put the 90 percent through here and then on the hour chart that's where like you take your entries so the entry type the entry type that you take is that break and the retest and then you take your cell around this area here the stop loss is just above and then you're aiming for the 90% rule. And then after aiming for the 90% rule as your first target, as your first, as your first target, <laughs> as your first target, now you look for your second target as this uh, outer structures, just because you don't know if the market will break or it will come back and go to the upside. So that's how I use like my market structure. And then for the recap is that you start from a higher time frame. Let's say you start from a weekly. Then on the weekly chart, you look for your highest high and your lowest low. And then after that, you look for the overall trend of which is this one here.
Let's turn this to the upside, but knowing that when the market reaches here, we look for sales. When it reaches the bottom, it goes to the upside. When it reaches the top, it goes to the downside as a form of a correction, and then it impulses out. So now we are looking for that correction to reach these lows here. Uh, in anticipating that it will break this area here and then reach the 90% rule, and then we have a change of direction of which the market will change direction from a uptrend to a downtrend. I hope you understood that and that is all for today's video. I'll see you on another one soon. Hope you do subscribe and click the notification bell and then drop a comment.